day, g'day. So the little berry that we have uh, sitting here in front of us there is the wombat berry, Eustrephus latifolius. And that's um, something you'll find in moist gullies, nice places that are overshadowed a little bit. The berry is edible, though it is quite fibrous, and it does require, in some reports anyway, a little bit of roasting to enhance the flavour or to enhance the um, uh, edibility of it, make it easier to absorb the nutrients, I suppose. Characteristic uh, lanceolate leaves here, about three centimetres in the across and 11 centimetres long. Uh, the roots are also edible too, but they do have to be pounded to um, crush the oxalate crystals that they contain. And uh, you can use the string, um, thicker parts of the string, um, like this here, uh, to weave baskets. So that's pretty cool stuff too. Owing to the large tap roots that they have, you will find that these reshoot after fire really easily. For a reference on this stuff, you've got the field guide of useful native plants. There you go. So that's a fantastic resource for uh, all, your, all of your plants in this uh, region. Now, of course, a little nib nib nibble, because I do love to do so. Get a few branches out of my face. Mm. So these seeds here, yeah? They're quite large. And you can't really eat them, so... Just plant them, I suppose. And squeeze those out of there, let them do their thing. They'll grow pretty easy in the soil, too. And it tolerates a good range of different types of soil too. So if we have a look underneath the tree, and companion plant, we've got wattle here, and we've got dichondra, a little kidney plant. Underneath, we have this rather dry eucalyptus uh, matter. The roots of all the dichondra. And a rather sandy soil. That doesn't really hold together much well at all. But it doesn't matter. It's good to know because if you want to grow this at home, you want to inspect the type of soil you have underneath the plant that you get, get the berries or seeds off in the wild. So there you go, folks. Um, wombat berry, uh, Eustrephus latifolius, also known as the orange vine or the blackfellow vine. Take care of yourselves and have a lovely day.